Okay, in this video, I'm going to get you to uh, get your rock to look a little bit more like what I have here. If you look around, it looks uh, a little less tiled. Well, I'm still not 100% where I want to be, but probably what you have, and I'm going to double click on this here, and you'll see this pop open, is you probably have something like, like this. Um, let me just turn all these off for a second. And so if I just... So you see, like, you probably have something like that, and that really doesn't look good, okay? Uh, usually that's what it comes out, and most of the materials you're going to get out of Quixel will do that. So what we have to do is go back a little bit to our notes that we did on uh, uh, the different types of textures that are in materials. And um, so what you want to do is double-click on this, and usually uh, it'll have something to do with displacement and or tiling. So you need to kind of uh, experiment, honestly, because each material is going to be different. Okay, material is basically uh, a bunch of code, but Unreal Engine has broken it down in a way that you can quickly kind of click on this. And you see some of the thing, the values that I put in that I thought looked pretty good were 0 0.2. Let me try 0 0.5. And then when you do something, what you do is you just shrink and you go look. Okay, and what you may want to do is come in close and then and, and alt and you know it still looks too tiled so i'm going to go back over here and basically experiment with with this let's turn this one on this one's not doing anything um let's turn this one on and then let's go look oh already looking a lot better starting to look and if i zoom out now your scene's going to be filmed probably around like this okay so that's not a really uh, really bad thing now you're probably wondering why are these lines there so just to get rid of the lines, what you do is you basically, you find your light. So there's a directional light. So it's, uh, there it is, light source. And just switch it to movable, then you can switch it back to stationary. And it'll get rid of the lines, okay? Uh, now you need to know, I never mentioned this, but static lighting is the least difficult or on your video card. And the movable light uh, it gets... Uh, fancier and fancier. I'll talk about lighting later, but for now what you're doing is we want to continue with our material and I'll show you a little trick. So what I kind of do is I kind of go like this and uh, when I start playing around with it, I'm going to see what happens when I, and you want to basically get it to, to uh, uh, and then you might want to shrink it to zoom in. So that you can see it's still not quite, it's still a little bit too, uh, so I want to keep playing with that. So another way I find it's easier is you just click on it, keep your finger down on the left mouse button and it just rotates and then you let it go. You kind of get a sense of what it's doing. So that's that offset. Doesn't, you know, these two on this material, it seems like this has the biggest impact. You can kind of see now the, the rocks are starting to come out. So I'm going to shrink it, and I'm going to zoom out. And I really do like that. That looks a lot better. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so i um, happy with the material. Now you could do this with different materials. You see on this one we have the mossy stone. Uh, you need to, if you're going to use this material, you could make a duplicate of it. If you're, you want it to look a certain way on this rock and different on this one, you would have to duplicate it, okay? And how do you do that? You just basically duplicate it. And you probably want to rename it uh, as a, uh, part two or something, you know, that way you don't mix them up. And so I, ne I never mentioned this, but whenever you do anything in the, in the game, and if you see a star, it means it hasn't been saved. And I probably haven't said this often enough, save all the time, okay? So you save current and just type in I made a new map but you probably didn't do that so just leave it the way you have it and and save all so you, you should always save current and save all because they're not the same thing so once I do that you're gonna see the two stars disappear okay so saving regularly is really important all right so now what you should be doing is across your level is starting to apply some rock and so on. And we'll show you a little trick here. If I press the Alt key and I have my move tool selected, it's going to create a second rock. Okay, 
So that way you can kind of create a whole bunch quickly. And if I, if you remember the hotkeys that I told you, which if you press the R key, uh, you know, you can make this rock a little bit. That way they don't all look the same. And I press this one. And if I click from the middle using my left mouse button, I'll make it a really big rock. And, uh, you know, so on. And go, and go into your mega scans and look under your 3D assets. What else did you bring in? So I have a mossy rock here. So again, you click on the blue, the static mesh, and you bring it in. Okay? So that's what you want to do is that you don't need to do the whole level, but if, depending on how much time you want to give your students, if not, they can just focus on a section because we made it quite a large map. Okay? So go ahead and have a little bit of fun.